What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I apologize. It has been a while since I've updated you and uploaded another video on my coffee stand. The reason for that is I lost all of the footage, but I ended up getting it back and it's taken a while and I finally got it back. There's going to be multiple videos on the coffee stand still. This video that you're about ready to watch is from, um, I'd probably say like three weeks ago. We're just going to pick off where we left off in the last video. I hope you guys enjoy. Without further ado, let's get into the video. We are actually tasting coffee today. Since I've worked in coffee for such a long time, I have an idea of who I want to go with. So today we're at Four Seasons Coffee Roasters, which in my opinion is so, so good. We just pulled up appointments at 11. It's 11 right now. So I'm going to head inside, wait for Devin, and let's get to trying some coffee. You guys, it's a lot harder than you think because it all tastes so, so similar, but I picked out one that I like and I can't get it delivered to my coffee stand until we're done with the interior of the stand. I want to go back to Home Depot and get one more paint sample. I'm so indecisive, but the paint we've been putting on the walls is just too dark and I need to go lighter. So I'm gonna go back, get one more sample, just one, put that on the wall and make a de decision on what I'm gonna get. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but this is a color that I really, really liked. It just happened to be a little too dark. I went to Home Depot and I said, hey, can you make this exact color, but just two shades lighter? So they mixed me a new color. So let's try that really quick. And I'm trying to figure out which wall to put it on. Maybe I'll put it on, I think I'm gonna put it on this wall back here. As you guys can see, I've literally put paint on like all the walls. I am so indecisive, you guys, but I feel like this is gonna be the one. Crap, I like them all, but I do like that a little bit more. That was the original color and then the two shades lighter color. I think I like this color more. I think it'll just make this space look a lot bigger. I don't know, drop a comment down below. I also went to the Home Depot and got paint for the ceiling. So I'm gonna try to get to painting the ceiling today. We're just gonna do white on the ceiling. About an hour and a half later and I ended up getting the edging done on the whole ceiling. It took a little bit longer than I expected just because I had to climb over all this stuff when I was trying to paint over there. So now I'm going to take the big roller and roll it all out. I'm curious to see if I'm going to have to do a second coat. I'm hoping I won't have to but here goes nothing. We're going to get the ceiling done tonight you guys. <laughs> I am gonna have to do a second coat. This color is pretty dang dark and it didn't fully cover it up as you guys can see, but you guys can see that it looks 10 times better. I am so excited to get the second coat on and then to get the color, the actual color of the wall changed. It's gonna look so good, but it's actually getting really dark out and my camera's gonna die, so I think I'm gonna go home. We might come back early in the morning and just knock the rest of the ceiling out and prep the rest of the windows because I did tape those all off last night, but I haven't done this side yet, so I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow and then hopefully we can get started on painting. What's up you guys? It is the next day and I am just gonna bust out the next layer of paint on the ceiling. As you guys can see, it's pretty chunky and blocky, so <clears throat> I'm not gonna record it, but I am just gonna do a quickie, get her done, and then Jamie, my younger sister, is gonna come through here and we are going to start painting the walls, which I'm super excited about.
just got back from the Home Depot, we ended up picking, an up picking up another heater because the only heater we have in here is this guy down here and it doesn't put that put off that much heat. Jamie started painting down here and I absolutely love the color we chose because it's like a very just light, subtle gray. How are you doing? Are you having fun? Yes. Okay, good. And then I'm actually gonna start up there so I just have to make sure my line is nice and crisp. this place and we finally got the majority of the coffee stand painted last night my camera ended up dying so I had to cut it off short but Jamie shout out to you because you really did help me paint this whole entire stand so I'm in love with the color you guys it makes this stand look like a completely different place so we got everything done up front except for this side over here you guys can see we stopped right here all this stuff is being removed today so i'll be able to get under there better and paint everything i'm waiting on the guy to come and remove everything right now i'll finish painting this whole side it goes all the way under there and then i do have to go over it again with another coat because i don't think the camera can pick it up very well well kind of you can see the blotchiness one eternity later i almost left without showing you guys what it looks like in here i'm blown away on how how much paint did and how much cleaning did obviously you guys saw it when we first got the place it was rough now look at this like what this looks like a completely different place we got everything painted twice double layer i did end up doing down here down there all back here you guys saw that mess this morning it's all cleaned i am so excited to open this stand i never really shared that with you guys but Devin and i talked about all the time opening up my own coffee stand and it was never really like something that i thought i would actually do because a lot of people say i would like to open up a coffee stand i would like to do this so I never really thought like it actually happened, but I do want to give you guys some advice. If you say if you say you're gonna do something, do it, make it happen. It's possible. I made this happen. It took the whole summer to do it. It took a very long time to actually get this place, but I'm making it happen. And you guys can make anything you want to do happen as well, no matter how hard it is, because. I didn't share that process with you, but it was pretty hard to get the stand and I'm just excited and I've had some people come through the stand already just excited for me and I appreciate you guys. I really do. I'm excited. The only other thing we have to do in here is we have to paint these posts black, I believe. I think we're just going to be black. I was going to do white, but I think they're going to get too dirty white. And then we also... <laughs> We have another room. I think I'm gonna start that tomorrow, actually. We're gonna move a bunch of this stuff into this room. That way, it'll be clear and just start painting it. Honestly, I'm hoping it'll just take a day or two to paint this. It shouldn't be too bad, but I'm excited with the way that turned out. The next morning. Jamie and I moved everything out of the back. So this is where you first walk in. Now we cleared everything out. This thing is stuck in place. Eventually I want to remove that, but we don't have time for that. So we removed everything. We put it all up front. I'm going to get started on painting the inside of this so I can get that shelf behind Jamie back in here tomorrow because I don't like all that stuff in there. I'm not doing anything how I'm supposed to. There's no tarp. There's no tape. There's no nothing. It's because quite frankly, I don't care about this little area back here. And this isn't texturized either, which is kind of silly. The back of the stand was an add-on. This is literally like a shed back here, so that's why I don't really care about what it's like back here. I think I'm going to call it a night tonight. I just got done painting this whole entire side, and I just did a really quick job. Um, one coat should be enough. Honestly, like I said, it was it's literally like a shed like the back half of the stand is like It's barely even insulated. So 
I just did a quick job and tomorrow I'm gonna do the other half of the back of the stand. I pretty much just wanna get that rack back up there so I can put some of the stuff back here so it's not flooding the front of the sand. This is all I say, but it's the next day and I already started working a little bit. So I went by Ace Hardware and got just like this temporary window tint for the insides of the windows because you guys know that we have these blinds and they look so cheap and so tacky. So I just said, what do I need to do to make it look better? And they had like this really, really dark window tint I cut a piece out and it's gonna go on that window. I didn't do the best job. I thought it was gonna look really, really good, but I, I cut it a little bit un uneven. pretty I'm not gonna lie I'm actually pretty impressed with myself as you guys can see this is like the cheapest way to do this I did screw up a little bit like right up there and especially right down here there's like a tiny crack where you can still see but other than that I want to go check it out outside and see what it looks like out there holy crap that actually is perfect I was actually really afraid that wasn't gonna look good. I'm gonna get the rest done. I just thought I had my camera running, but apparently I didn't. I just did this window, and you guys are really fucked up on this window. First of all, huge gap in that my OCD is, that that's just kind of making me freak out a little bit. Huge gap there, huge gap under there. I need to trim around these so I can like stick that down under the locks. I wanna go see it outside, so let's go. Cool. Now I just need to do the center one. I ran out of window tint and they were all out at the store I went to. So I'm gonna call a few other stores and see if they have anything in stock. That way I can just get this whole side done today. I was gonna do that side, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough tint for it. Honestly, like I'm gonna need at least three more rolls, but at least I got two windows done, the important ones and then and by the way, you guys, this is for privacy. It's not really for like weather control or anything. It's literally like just for privacy. So that's kind of what I was going for instead of the blinds. Let me get on the phone call and let's go get some more window tint. Okay, I just got back from the store and I ended up picking some light bulbs because those ones are currently out. And then I, they only had one in stock. So this is what I'm using you guys and I'm gonna try to finish that window right there and then hopefully get one of these done i did realize that i did have some leftover pieces right here just small pieces that fit in those tiny windows so i'm gonna do that too there's no light in this bathroom so it's super hard to paint in here when it's dark so after i'm done tinting the window i am going to quickly and efficiently paint this bathroom also, I did get a utility knife, and I think this is gonna help a lot with the edges on the film. The reason it looks so bad like that is because of that shitty knife. So I might even tear, I might even tear this off and redo it because it is so bad. One hour later. Okay, where do I even begin, you guys? Well, I ended up getting the whole back half painted, and um, I moved a lot of stuff back here so um yesterday i painted this area so i moved this shelf back where it belongs so that's there but i painted everything else and it's a very crammed in here um, i moved the fridge out painted painted the ceiling so with that being said tomorrow the only thing i need to do which i've been saving this for last there's like this weird little cubby area down in here and it's like the same color of what the walls used to be so I need to paint that and then I need to paint this brick up in here and like this tin stuff and clean out that that's creepy in there that's pretty much all I have to do paint wise well I am gonna paint that black and these red ones up here black as well but other than that paint wise I will be done so 
I'm gonna go home. My back is breaking from rolling so much on the ceilings. So uh, yeah, let's get this job finished, you guys. I want to go over everything we did today. I feel like we got a lot done thanks to having my mom around too. She did a lot. So my mom painted all of the posts that were once red to that beautiful black color. And then she also did, she also did this cabinet back here. So that's black, which looks so good. And don't mind the mess you guys, but we got a couple things moved back here. We got this caulked, so there's no more air going through there, but we will clean that up so it doesn't look so crazy. And then I also got all of these done for the siding, so that will be going right here on all of the window seals, which looks so freaking good. I just got done putting like a gloss finish over everything, so those are gonna look super good. And I believe Devin's going to help me tomorrow install those, which will look so nice. Things are turning out and it's starting to look better and better every single day. I think I'm going to end out this video right here. It's been a ton of days. I feel like it's been almost a week of me just doing stuff to the stand. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me working on my coffee stand again. I still can't even really believe that this is my stand and I'm gonna have it up and running very soon um I'm so excited so anyways you guys remember hit the like button subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video bye